your name? David. Do you give consent to this video? I do. Okay, so we'll be talking about Columbus Day. My first question is, who should be celebrated? I don't think that a specific person should be celebrated for Columbus Day. I think it's less about one one man that came out all this way to, to find America, I guess you would say, but I think it's more about the sense of exploration, exploration that, that it was about the excitement that everyone had about discovering a new land. I think it shouldn't be so centered around a single person and what he did. It should be more about a sense of what that accomplishment did for the rest of the world and how that exploration sort of fueled other explorations and allowed people to sort of experience a whole different environment. Okay. Um, how is Columbus taught in class? Columbus Day. In, in what kind of class? In class, in your school. Like elementary school? Yeah, or like in your okay, yeah. School. So like in elementary school, I'm pretty sure Columbus and his adventures made up probably half my social studies curriculum. He was, I would, I would say glorified to an extent. We were, we're making cardboard cutouts of the Santa Maria, the whatever the other ones were. Uh, like people were just like, people were coming to school dressed up and they'd be like, oh yeah, I'm Christopher Columbus, stuff like that. So like, he's put on, I guess you would say like a pedestal, a very, very high standing. He's seen as this underdog figure. He's going all around Europe. He's telling people that he wants to go off and sail, sail into the waters where nobody's ever been. And he says, he's gonna find land there and everyone so ridiculous to him as this as this fool as this crazy people he gets laughed out of king's courts and when he finally does get the opportunity it's a long really really risky adventure in front of him so he spends he spends all his money he he goes off on this and then he comes back and he's successful so a lot of people see him as this sort of underdog figure who sort of beat all the odds and just sort of succeeded where nobody thought he would okay um also yeah. how does history portray him. History definitely portrays Christopher Columbus in a much more negative light that we are not taught when we are around the age of eight because because it sees him as more of this exploitative figure who doesn't really go off on this for a sense of adventure to meet new people to discover new new lands it's more about money behind it and what he can do to further his position and further his power and you sort of see that from all of his if you go deeper into the stories about his trading routes that he establishes <clears throat> on some of his future future voyages, and a lot of it involves things like slave labor exploitation and that, that kind of stuff. So it definitely sees him in a much different way than we see him back in back in elementary school. Okay. Thank you, David.